Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, of course, a question that came through. I've answered this a long time ago, uh, but sometimes a refresh is not a bad idea, as a lot of people have been added to the uh, channel since then. And it's about, of course, the drivers. We talked about how to get drivers that are missing on your system. But what about updating your drivers? Is it something necessary? Is it something that... Um, and how should I do it uh, if I want to update drivers? So once again, right-click your Start button. Go into the Device Manager, and your drivers are all here. So depending on what you are using as a device, you could see, uh, for example, I'll go into Network Adapters here. I'll double-click my Wi-Fi, and here in the uh, Options, you have the name of the device, you have Advance, you have all sorts of details, but what you want to know is the driver itself, what's its date. So in this case, it's 10 March 2024. It's fairly recent, so I probably don't need an update for this. But you might be thinking, you know, if it says, uh, I'll show you one, for example, that I have here that it's old. If I look at the display adapter, go here and go to driver. Uh, this one is from October of 2020, so it's you know three and a half years old. So this is a old driver. And you might be thinking, well, you know, should I update these drivers? What should I do? Uh, some people use these driver manager software, which I do not recommend at all because they tend to want to always update. And here's the thing, updating drivers when your system works fine, it's not necessarily something I'm going to say you should do. Why? Because it's not impossible that a, a driver can break something. I've had my lesson many, many years ago in uh, Windows 7 where I updated a display driver and uh, then everything went to hell and I couldn't do much. I had to revert back to the old driver and it was really complicated. S bad drivers exist and actually they are often the culprit behind blue screens of death. A lot of computers have unfortunately bad drivers. Of course, people blame it on Windows most of the time, but 95 plus percent of all the problems in Windows are not Windows related. I'll see it over and over again. So um, if you have no issues and no problems at all, I uh, will recommend most of the time to just leave the system as it is since it's stable, it works, no need for something new. If you um, have glitches, have issues that are weird, then yes, certain drivers are useful to update. For example, if videos don't play back very well or if you have some weird display issues, well, it might mean that your display driver might need to be updated to something more recent. Um, and, of course, uh, there is a plethora of problems. If you have blue screens of dead all the time, updating drivers might be a good thing because it could come from here. Once again... The first option, your manufacturer, if it's a, a system that you purchased, like an HP, a Dell, a Lenovo, and so on, just go to the manufacturer website. Go and examine your specific model of PC and look at the support page for downloads. You should see drivers, and you should see the dates that they have. So if, in this case, it says October 2020, maybe on the manufacturer's website it's going to say that the latest driver is I don't know, January 2024, you know that there's something f more recent. So if you have some display issues or if you have problems, it might be a good idea to update. Windows Update does have a capability of updating drivers, but it's limited. So if you search automatically for drivers when you look at this, it might tell you if there's something new or if the best is already installed. Do not believe Windows Update. For example, this best driver is already here. I know for a fact that it's not true. But Windows itself will tell me that this is the latest they have. So once again, the best thing to do is to go to the manufacturer's website and check for the latest drivers there, not through Windows Update as it's not always accurate and useful. So simple rule, everything's fine. Don't touch anything. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you've got problems, updating drivers could be something to do to fix your problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.